Okay, it's one o'clock, we can get started. Um, hi, and welcome to the 32nd coffee lecture series from the Chemistry, Biology, Pharmacy Information Center at ETH Zurich. I'm Gina Canarosi, and today I'm gonna to present Google Workspace and its implementation at ETH Zurich. <clears throat> So, but first, before I show what uh, what's in Google Works Workshop, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about cloud services because it is a cloud service. Cloud services are have a, a lot of advantages. They provide a framework for collaboration, communication, and networking. Um, for uh, one advantage is that you can uh, have collaboration between a team or users. We can share documents. We can uh, work on documents at the same time. The uh, collaboration can be real time. If we're working on a Google document, I can edit it and you can edit it at the same time. We can see each other's edits. We can talk over the um, um, Google talking app and uh, that enhances our collaboration. Um, another advantage is that the data is backed up and available from any computer at any time. So ETH Zurich offers two cloud services. One of them is Google Workshop and one of them is Microsoft 365. There are disadvantages, however, and those are in the areas of privacy and legality and data protection. At ETH Zurich, um, you get the license through the IT shop, but ETH Cloud Services manages the services. And to do that, they have to observe regulations at the federal and the cant cantonal level. And they do this in consultation with ETH Legal Services and the Chief Information Security Officer. So there's a lot of regulations that must be observed about data protection. Uh, for example, the data on Google Workspace is stored in Europe. And another thing to remember is that no confidential information is allowed to be stored in cloud storage. And this is the responsibility of the user. So when you agree to use these tools, you agree that you won't put any confidential information <clears throat> in the cloud. Um, what ETH has licensed with Google Workspace is their education package. And so the idea is that you use it for education. So they have five different levels of packages and the first one is free. So with the first one, you have access to a classroom, Google Meet, Google Docs, Google Forms, and Google Chat. And then as you um, pay more or get a more advanced license, you have more security features, more administration controls, uh, add-ons, better features and what we have is Google Workspace for Education Plus. So the focus is on education and you have features such as if you use Google Meet to give a course in the Google Classroom, uh, it'll keep track of attendance. Like you can have, Google will notice who came to the class and then put that in a spreadsheet in Google Sheets. Uh, they do remind you when you sign up for it that your school is in control of all of the data and services that are available. Um, the legality means some services are not available. This is chosen by the school. They manage the data and the account. They can choose if you can access the data, the, the data and they're basically they are in control of it. So they can see your emails and see the docs that you create. Um, they can change your privacy settings, they can delete your account. The upside is there's no ads, but the point of this is that you should keep your university and your private account separate. So this is some of the tools available in Google Workspace. This is just a, a smidgen of the tools available. You have organizational tools such as Calendar. Normally the Calendar and the Gmail G, and the Mail app would work together. They've disabled Gmail, so we don't have Gmail. They've chosen to go with Microsoft Outlook. So in Outlook, you have the Calendar and the email integrated. And this is nice, for example, if I buy a plane ticket, and the email comes through Gmail, it'll automatically be added to my calendar. I really like this kind of feature. It is creepy as far as data protection, but um, it's a useful feature. 
They have connection apps such as Google Chat, which is like WhatsApp or Google Meet, which is Zoom. And um, you can manage your contacts. You have productivity apps. This is like the Microsoft Office suite. You have Google Docs, which is like Word. You have Sheets, which is Excel and Slides, which is like PowerPoint. Um, and they all operate together. So you can make your slides and um, <clears throat> and show them in the classroom. The education tools are Google Classroom and this has uh, like Google Meet for the video conferencing. You can use Google Sheets for attendance and grades. You can use Google Forms to do feedback. So it's all integrated into one classroom. They also have marketing and communication tools. So um, if you want to have photos or data that's in photos, you can put it here. YouTube, you can do your promotional coffee lectures on YouTube, and they even manage websites. So if you have um, the business version, you can host a domain. That means you have to buy the domain somewhere else, but you can host it on Google Workspace. Uh, this is disabled at ETH. And this all revolves around Google Drive, which is the cloud storage that you have through Google. So all of this information from the forms, the docs, it all goes onto the Google Drive um, cloud storage. To see what apps are installed, you log in to, uh, with your ETH. You have to request a license from the IT shop. You log in. Uh, with your ETH email address, and then you see the ETH here, you know you're in the ETH domain. If you click on this grid of nine dots, then you can see what uh, apps are installed. Um, this is the core tools. I don't need to uh, look at every single tool, but the important thing is that Gmail is disabled, and this is how many extra tools they have, and some of them are enabled and some of them aren't enabled. What's been deactivated are things you don't need for your university account, like Google Pay, the location history, the ads are disabled, and the domain registration, unfortunately. Also the phone plan, but this is not a big deal. And then they have web and mobile apps, and these are all enabled, including Gmail. So I can use my ETH um, email address on the phone app, but not on the web. OK, so if you look at some of the individual components, the first one is Google Drive, where um, it all the data is stored. And I have my own personal drive, but I can create a shared drive. So I created a shared drive for the uh, Info Centrum, and now we can share um, files on this drive if you want. It's good if you're collaborating with people. It's good if you um, have big files that you need to share. ETH Zurich has 550 terabytes of data storage, which is half a petabyte, amazing. Staff get 100 gigabytes each, students have 20, and the shared drives are 100. To compare that, free Google is 15, so the students don't have that great of an advantage here. And with the Polybox, which is ETH's secure storage on secure servers, you have 50 gigabytes. So it all depends on the, the kind of data you have, but it's available if you want to use it. Um, for organization, you can use Google Calendar, which is really similar to Microsoft Outlook, which we're using. You can create personal calendars. You can subscribe to calendars. We at the Info Centrum, for example, could make a calendar that has all the coffee lectures on it, and then people could sub subscribe to that, and it'll show up right on their calendar. I think that also is available in uh, Exchange. And then there's more productivity. Um, apps here, for example, you can take notes. I use the task manager. You can manage your contacts. You can have maps integrated and the Zoom for Google Workspace. So for example, if you have a Zoom uh, schedule, it'll go automatically onto your calendar. The productivity apps, as I mentioned, are the uh, doc sheets and slides. And what's nice is you have some templates. So I've shown letter templates here, but they have templates, especially for teaching, which is the grade book and attendance. Um, they have on the 
Google Sheets, a space for ETH templates. That means you can make templates at the ETH level. At the moment, that one's empty, but you can imagine that uh, you know a letter template or a spreadsheet template <clears throat> made at the ETH level. And so here's an example of the attendance spreadsheet. The gradebook spreadsheet has the possibility to um, make a report for individual students. Uh, you can keep the grades in it and you can generate some plots. Okay, their communication tools are Google Chat and Google Meet, which is similar to WhatsApp. You can uh, chat with a group or chat with a person and Google Meet is like Zoom. So, um, and these are all integrated into the Google Classroom. So you can make a classroom here. You have the possibility to give lectures online. All of the documentations could be done in Google Docs. That means the students could give their work as Google Docs. Um, you could give assignments as Google Docs. You can keep track of everything in the spreadsheets and some of that is automatic. And uh, what I really like about Google is their, uh, their products work together quite seamlessly and very intuitively. They also have forms. So I've seen the form used uh, for signups. If you have a workshop, you can have the signup sheet via a form. And they also have like course assessments, class assessments. You can do quizzes on the forms and integrate these into your Google Classroom. The last thing is Google Sites where you can create a website. So I created a website here. I can choose the name of the website. It'll turn up at sites.google.com. Um, and this is like the WordPress uh, websites we have. If you take the business package, then you can actually use your own dom domain here. So Google Workspace has tools that can replace, replace or be used instead of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, WhatsApp, Zoom, Moodle, and Outlook. They also have um, YouTube, a web presence, and a photo gallery. So it really is a complete package if you choose to put all of your eggs into the Google basket, which for reasons of data privacy might be questionable. So there's a coffee lecture card. Oh, I didn't put the address, but if you email me, I can give you the coffee lecture card. And I would like to remind everybody that next Tuesday, Oliver Wren will talk about basics of design in just 10 minutes. So thank you very much. I'm happy to take any questions. If there's questions online, just unmute, unmute yourself. Any questions in the room?